Tonight we have an I-Team investigation into the Western New York Children's Psychiatric Center and lawsuits targeting sexual abuse allegations that were made there decades ago. Tonight, survivors of the alleged abuse are turning to the Child Victims Act to fight for justice. All new at 6, I-Team Chief Investigator Charlie Specht speaks with one man who says he wants the truth to finally come out about the psychiatric center, and he's hoping his story will encourage others to also come forward. William Siegel survived a troubled childhood in Buffalo with a father he says was physically abusive and with multiple placements in the foster care system. Going through the things I went through, you know, I had had some problems, you know, I, I thought walking into an oncoming car might have solved it. I was only, I think, seven at the time. That's how Siegel ended up in the 1980s at the Western New York Children's Psychiatric Center in West Seneca. I remember my room. It was all the way down the end of the hallway. Soon after his arrival, Siegel says he was thrown into a culture that would stir massive controversy and state hearings about child abuse in the state facility that was supposed to help at-risk kids like him. Topping tonight's Eyewitness News, it was earlier this year that an Eyewitness News I-Team first reported on allegations of sex abuse at the Western New York Children's Psychiatric Center in West Seneca. One person I know is in prison, another person committed suicide, another person is under investigation pending indictment. A 1989 report by New York State concluded there were 32 separate child abuse and neglect cases at the psych center over a seven-month period in 1988. The report said 15 of the allegations involved child-to-child -child sexual behavior, while eight more of the cases related to an allegation of sexual contact between a child and a staff member. They, they, they'd put needles in us and then put us to sleep and uh you know, you wake up and you feel funny. Mm -hmm. You know, you you wake up and you, you hurt in places you shouldn't. The state report also told of a sex club called the G.I. Joe Club involving an initiation rite, which included engaging in sex with other children. All four of us were touched. All four of us were forced to touch each other. Staff stated to police that they had tried to get senior staff to do something, but senior staff told them not to be concerned that what the children were doing was normal behavior. Having thought back on it and knowing what I know now today, the things I know aren't normal. There's nothing normal about it. Siegel, as well as other survivors, are now filing Child Victims Act lawsuits against New York State. Siegel says that while some employees of the psych center were charged with crimes in the 1980s, the full extent of the abuse has never been revealed to the public. Where was the people who are sworn to protect us from this sort of thing, you know? Siegel says his main hope is that his story will inspire others like him to speak out. And I want these other kids to come out and, and talk about it. If I can do it, they can do it. A spokesman for the State Office of Mental Health said in a statement to us that the agency could not comment because of pending lawsuits, but he said, quote, WNY CPC has a well-earned reputation as a family-driven and youth-guided organization that provides trauma-informed care focused on hope and recovery for youth and families in Western New York. Any allegations of abuse or neglect at OMH facilities must be reported and are fully investigated as required by state law. Ashley. Charlie, how many lawsuits have been filed against the psych center? Actually, to this point, there already are three lawsuits pending in state court. Uh, those name a former volunteer who was criminally charged in the 1980s. Mr. Siegel says he will be filing his suit in the next few days here. And, you know, more than anything, it's important to him that some of the documents come out that might give him some of the answers he's been seeking for so long. Well, his pain is so clear in his voice. Charlie, thank you for your reporting tonight.